my name is Callie and I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. You probably know me because of one of my most popular videos, How to Clean a Clarinet Mouthpiece. Now over the years I've had a bunch of comments from people like, oh my god, I left it overnight, uh, I hope it's okay, or you know, I went to the mall and forgot about it, or whatever. So I thought it would be a good experiment to like actually see what happens, you know, if I, you know, forget about it essentially overnight and um, well let's check it out I'll show you what happened so the first thing I did was what my video recommended half water half vinegar in a small container I soaked the mouthpiece and I left it there and I checked it at 10 minutes at one hour at three hours and 12 hours and as you can see from the video footage, not a whole lot has changed. And so I thought, okay, well, what would it take to actually make this mouthpiece turn brown or at least get a tiny bit discolored? So I thought, well, I'm not gonna dilute the vinegar now. I'm gonna soak it for three hours in just this vin straight vinegar and see what happens. So that's what I did. And I only soaked it about halfway down the shaft so you could see how, you know, discolored it became, if it was to become discolored. And I didn't really have enough time to soak it another 12 hours in straight up vinegar. So um, I did three hours. Not a whole lot happened still. Um, yeah, and you can't, you can't even really see a line from it. So I thought, okay, there's one other surefire way I think that you can um, bleach a mouthpiece and so I decided I'm gonna soak this thing in hot water like the steamiest blazing hottest water that my faucet can can produce and like I burned myself on my hot water it's a very hot water heater that we have so I tried that and I let it soak until the water became cold I pulled it out and I looked at it finally there was a little bit of discoloration So I'm gonna do a close-up. Um, I actually have two of my mouthpieces with me. So this is the one that I soaked, and you may not be able to see a whole lot, but there's this outline right here of the mouthpiece patch that I normally put on my mouthpieces. And you can see where I left it on during the soaking process. So you can actually see like, okay, well, it did kind of discolor some of the area around the mouthpiece patch, but it didn't actually turn the mouthpiece yellow or brown or green as I had hoped. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll sh give you a close up of this one. So this was my old mouthpiece. I actually dropped it and got a nice big gash in the tip of the mouthpiece. So I thought it would be fun to experiment with refacing and stuff. And um, fun fact, don't ever try to do any refacing on your own unless you're prepared to ruin your mouthpiece. So in my case, the mouthpiece was already ruined. So um, it was just a fun little project. I kind of fixed the problem, but it, it doesn't have as nice of articulation. So um, I just bought a new one, not a big deal. Anyway, so um, no, no good mouthpieces were harmed in the making of this video in case you were worried. So here's, here's our little close up. You can actually see, so this is the original here and then this is this is the one that I soaked and well, yeah, you can see there's a nice little patch area where I had left it on in the soaking process. Um, but it's still not outrageously discolored. Um, the tip of the mouthpiece, perhaps a little, oh man, this guy, I need to get him fixed. Anyway. So yeah, the tip of the mouthpiece, um, maybe a little bit brown, a little bit yellow, but not quite as bad as I, or dramatic as I had hoped it would be. So, you know, if you guys are using a vinegar solution um, and your vinegar is like mine, where it's diluted already to 5% acidity, doesn't look like a whole lot is gonna happen, even if you forget it overnight. So guys, that was not nearly as dramatic as I had hoped it would be. Um, but now you know what happens and you don't have to test it out for yourself because I already did it for you. Um, so 
you know, if you guys have had any weird experiences in the past, like um, every marching band clarinet player has a story of forgetting their mouthpiece cap inside, they're outside in the sun all day, they get home, their mouthpiece is brown, and it smells like burnt rubber. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the sun bleaching for you. So if you really want to uh, discolor your mouthpiece, just go out in the sun for a while. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information interesting, if not useful. And be sure to share this with anyone you think might be interested. And I will look forward to seeing you all on Saturday morning for Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. And until then, happy practicing.